An interscalene brachial plexus block uses injected medication to numb the shoulder and arm before an arm or shoulder operation or other procedure. Let's first take a look at the anatomy that is involved. Your spine is made of a series of small bones called vertebrae. The neck area of the spine is called the cervical spine. The thoracic spine is located in the upper back. The scalene muscles connect select vertebrae at the cervical spine and thoracic spine to the upper ribs on both your right and left sides. The opening in the center of each bone forms the spinal canal. The spinal cord is located within the protective spinal canal. Nerves extend from the spinal cord through the anterior and middle scalene muscles and branch to form a network of nerves called the brachial plexus. The brachial plexus nerve branches supply the muscles and skin in the chest, shoulder, and arms. An interscalene brachial plexus block is used to turn off the nerves that are responsible for sensation in the shoulder and arm before surgery or other medical procedures are performed. This procedure is also used to relieve pain from various shoulder and arm conditions. Your head will be turned away from the side that will receive the nerve block as this helps your doctor identify neck muscles and other anatomical landmarks such as the interscalene groove. The interscalene groove is the site where the injection is given. Next, the area is sterilized and a local anesthetic is delivered to the injection site. The brachial plexus nerves are identified using ultrasound or electrical nerve stimulation. Once identified, the injection needle is carefully inserted and directed towards the brachial plexus. The anesthetic medication is delivered and the needle is removed. The interscalene brachial plexus block will numb the upper arm and shoulder for several hours to allow surgery or a medical procedure to take place without you feeling any pain. Following surgery, your arm will be placed in a sling to protect it until your sense of feeling returns. Your doctor will prescribe pain medication to use after the block has worn off.